G'day, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate ideas and create a mind map. Let's get started. Now you might know that ChatGPT has recently come out with a new version 4.0. And what's new about this is that you can actually generate images, not only images, there are lots of different GPTs. So if you click on explore GPT, there's lots of different GPTs available. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to use one called Whimsical Designs to make your very own flowcharts and mind maps. So let's get started. I'll show you the use case I use it for, which is in, in my subject design and technology where students need to come up with ideas and mind maps. I'll make them do this on their own, but just so that you can see the power of ChatGPT and this new mind map feature, we're gonna go through the process of creating a mind map. So all right, create a mind map. or a project where I want to explore the design and making of a disaster relief housing solution. Now my English is not great there, but that's what we're trying to aim for. It's not gonna create it just yet, but if I click enter, it's gonna create a mind map, hopefully in different branch types and give me all the text here as well. Now we could do this directly into this whimsical design GPT, but if I write it out in chat GPT first, it will give me a bit more content. So if I copy this information now and we could read through it, obviously I probably will edit it at the end, but we can copy this text and go into whimsical designs or explore GPTs, whimsical designs, start chat. We can now say create a mind map for the following information. And there we go. Let's see what it can create. It's going to create a mind map on disaster relief housing. Might take a moment. Starting action. This is where the computer's got to do its thing. And this is where we can talk about being aware that it's not going to provide the perfect solution. We are going to have to check the answers. It's going to be biased in what it does produce. So it might use existing ideas, so it won't be completely innovative, but also at the same time, it's a great place to get started. Now, very quickly, it's created quite an in-depth mind map. Disaster relief housing solution. It's got research and analysis, design considerations, materials and construction, design prototyping, implementation, regulatory and compliance, funding and budget, community and social impact, technology integration, and documentation reporting. Maybe I don't need all that. Maybe I want to cut it down. Maybe I want to add some extra things. I can actually edit that in Whimsical itself. Now, if you open this up, we can then zoom in. And obviously it's a new tool, but you can change these around. You can delete whole sections if you really wanted to, but it's up to you. But in this video, I hope that helped you. See if you can create a mind map. Hopefully you can let me know below what project you're working on. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm going to do more on ChatGPT and its GPTs in the coming videos. So click like, subscribe, and follow along.